Hello everyone, welcome to the channel, it's uh, Rad. And uh, for you who don't know me yet, I am a tarot card interpreter and uh, today we are going to look into our lovely week which uh, is to be the uh, March 6th up until uh, March 12th, 2023 and uh, what this video is going to uh, contain, uh, those are to be 13 tarot readings, one collective and one for each star sign <clears throat> that will uh, forecast our romantic and love life for, throughout the week. Now, the readings themselves, they will relate whether to uh, more to people who are in a relationship or more to people who are single and they're looking for love. As general readings, I will try to cover uh, both of the situation to the best of my ability. <clears throat> but just so you know, uh, the readings themselves, again, they may relate more to one or uh, the other situation. If you do wish to have a personal reading with me, you can always uh, go to my website, which link you're going to find in the description down below. And uh, there at the very front page, you are going to see a full list of my services and uh, as well their pricing. So with that said, uh, let me shuffle the cards and uh, see what we have as a, a collective uh, as a collective reading, what the week in general is going to be in terms of love and uh, romantic relationship. So the first card of the week, that will be the King of uh, Wands, followed by the second card, which stands as uh, the Knight of Swords. The third card we have, that will be uh, the Queen of Pentacles. And the final card of the week, that will be the world. Uh, the catalyst to the Knight of Pentacles, uh, to the Knight of Swords, I'm sorry, that will be the full card. And uh, the catalyst to uh, the Queen of Pentacles, that will be the Devil card. So, in terms of uh, interactions and in generally relating to other people, whether we are in relationship with them or not, is going to be not the, the word is not exaggerated, but let's put it that way, is going to be quite active and quite dynamic into that particular week, March, March 6th up until March 12th, 2022. And in particular, uh, <clears throat> two people or two types archetypes of people are going to stand out for us now first of all the environment let's talk about that a little bit so the environment here is marked by the king of uh, by the king of wands all right and uh, that card primarily speaks for a couple of things first it does speak that there is going to be a lot of room for us to basically go out and enjoy the life as as life is that speaks that we are going to have a lot of incentives and opportunities to con contact with other people all right and to have a good time with them as well but to find an interesting things to do in general common things things that are relating us to a one another <clears throat> And that is obviously, you know, is going to be more applicable to people who are single, people who don't have a um, responsibilities taken to one or another person. And for those who does, the King of Wands kind of stands for an ambition. So two people are deciding, yes, we are doing that. And this ambition is uh, translating into a quite of a powerful drive moving forward, meaning that there is going to be a lot of determination to, 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 to generally get the things done, right? <clears throat> a determination that is going to be bestowed upon us throughout, uh, throughout that particular week. So you can see here how it differentiates depending on do you have someone that you want to go forward with or you are looking for a uh, such a person. Now, what we should be careful of is a archetype of an individual that is uh, marked by the uh, Knight of Swords here. Okay, so Knight of Swords. And uh, the full card, those two. Now, active supporters, these two 
cards are showing people who are very very appealing physically and in a first interaction their behavior is also very engaging and appealing and even enthralling if you will so these people they are kind of like inviting everybody to be a part of their life now then you may think then what's the problem if i am invited to be a part of someone's life well the problem is that with this full card they a couple of things now first it is that they do not stay at one place for a long time and the second is that can i put it into words let's say it that way they do things only that connects to their emotions all right and the hell with yours so to speak so uh, long story short these people are either their way or the highway although at least at the start their way their way is gonna seem very versatile so there is multiple of their ways until it starts becoming narrower and narrower to a point where it's either going to be their point of view or none of the points of views now the other archetype of individuals uh, for the week that we have a choice to connect with okay are uh, the queen of pentacles that we have with the devil card okay so these two passive supporters into that uh, into that position these type of individuals they are very aware of what they want for their life in fact they do have their life very well sorted out and with the devil being there it's um that's the moment where they want to share their good fortune with others right so that is the type of individual that we do have which is by the way those cards are advising that we should connect with now what is it's not a problem but what will be the the challenge here well the challenge it is because they do they, they are very well fulfilled right and they do have almost everything they wish from life it's very difficult to not difficult but challenging to approach them and to basically catch their attention or instead their attention could be caught by us and we may be long story short baffled why that's the case right we may think that there is something surreptitious in it we may think that you know uh, uh the, they, they do have a back thoughts about it so to speak uh, also very tough in um, in behavior though these people know how to direct one or another goal so to speak so if the goal is to start dating even if they find themselves being very busy they will find time for it and having the world at the end uh it's uh, pretty much the point of um of what is going to come out from the decision that we are supposed to do all right in a sense of that we either decide to go with the uh, knight of swords archetype or the king of uh, or the queen of pentacles i'm sorry by the end of the week should we choose to go with one than the other we are we we, we are to be stuck with that choice and there is no going back pretty much that seals the deal and it is what it is and the world shows that from there on moving forward we should try to do the maximum out of the situation we bestowed upon our uh, upon ourselves so obviously this collective reading affects more people who are single but these two uh, cards may refer you know to your uh, partner and someone else who does what uh, who does want uh, your attention and you get to choose are you going to stick with what you know which is the queen of pentacles or are you going to go forward with what is new which is the knight of swords so with that said um this is the collective reading now let me shuffle the cards and uh we start the forecast for the 12 star signs with aries you can track which star sign i'm reading for by seeing the glyph which is over here Oops.
Right, so for Ares, uh, the first card, it is the Six of uh, Wands. Followed by, uh, that is the Knight of Pentacles. Moving on next, uh, we do have uh, the Four of Cups. And the final one, that will be the Five of Swords. Okay, so these uh, these four cards, the catalyst to the Knight of Pentacles, uh, that will be uh, the Eight of Cups, all right? And so these are a typical of an archetype of an individual, people who are looking for the right moment, for the better circumstances in the future, for a lack of better words, okay? So that may be a person who, um, or most likely is going to be, okay, an individual, that it's it's striving for your attention but at this very moment they do not make it known kind of like they do not make you aware of it is because the circumstances are not perfect for them although they do hope that the future is going to present with a better circumstance it's no different than if you are now in a relationship but you do have a co-worker who wants to be with you and they do not kind of like unravel their emotions because you are currently in a relationship no matter that is a, a severe obstacle in front of your love life into the upcoming week because the week itself uh, it's surrounded here having the six of uh, six of wands into the first position of a result right that is um, a week where if you do want to you can have sex if you do want to you can go out and date if you do want to all right uh, you can <clears throat> you can schedule meetings with more than one person if you do want to you can spend time with a person you like it is just these this is a week of results for you when it comes to uh, when it comes to love life and that person not revealing themselves it means that a good opportunity for you it's it's just it's not going to be available at least at that particular time unless you do not spot the woman or the guy because that could be a woman or a guy unless you do not spot them and kind of like you make the suggestion right that is something that you will have to choose and decide to do so and it is quite advisable because of the four of cups which is at uh, the uh, third position here and uh, the four of cups while it states that all of your options available are good right and i'm saying good that particular option available which stands beyond your current results which speaks about that person that haven't revealed their emotions yet it's simply better maybe for some maybe not as as large with with a large margin than you may you may hope for but it is simply better right so <clears throat> when you are choosing your options available and which one to go forward with right um those cards are advising you to also consult your emotions uh, with your logic or or look at things in an objective way look at your options available in an objective way rather not just only an emotional one and that will make the revelation who that person who is not divulging you know their intentions or rather like their emotions at that current point pretty much is and uh, depending on what you're going to find, the Five of Swords is going to manifest, which is uh, the last card here, okay? So the Five of Swords, it's quite of a double-edged sword in, that, in your particular case, because if you are um, ignorant, so to speak, that will lead to a humiliation of a someone else, not yours, but a someone else. However, if you are accountable for you toward your actions, then the Five of Swords displays that manifestation of, of its, uh, its philosophy that pretty much you are gonna play on the edge of uh, what is acceptable, let's put it that way, on the edge of what is acceptable, and thus you are going to uh, Aries, uh, maximize basically your rewards, which are a passion, you know, um, like I say, physical interaction, why not even love at the end? So that was uh, for you, Aries. Now moving on next, we do have, uh, uh, we do have Taurus.
Uh, all right, so first one, Puryu Taurus, uh, that will be the Page of Cups. Followed by uh, the Ten of Pentacles. Moving on next, we do have the Seven of Cups. And then it is the Wheel of Fortune. So I, I think that you are a, the big winner here into the upcoming week. Do you know what the Seven of Cups means into the third position? It, it pretty much, in this spread, it pretty much means all you wish for, possible. May, maybe not possible within the week itself, but in general, possible. So whatever the wish you do have throughout the week, Taurus, keep, in, keep your mind on it, focused because it can become true. <laughs> it's easy for me to say, but nonetheless, no matter when, okay? So what are the conditions though? Because there are conditions to it. It's not gonna happen on its own accord. This is not a fairy tale that we're speaking here of. So throughout the week, uh, the circumstances within, for example, your current relationship, marriage, or in your situation in general, that is, if you are single, are going to start shifting. They are going to start changing, and they're going to start changing in a way that you are going to pretty much start liking it, and you're going to start seeing that what you wish for up until this point, let's say impossible for one or another reason, now is starting to become to become more and more feasible, more and more accomplishable, more and more reachable. Let me give you an example. Let's say that you, that you do like a particular woman, all right, a specific woman, but that woman is in uh, a nice relationship. However, throughout the week, that woman found out that her boyfriend is cheating on her, all right, and she's ready to leave him. So there you, there you go. You do have the change of the circumstances. And while the previous week, being with that woman was pretty much impossible because she was very, very happy in her relationship, now she wants to run away from it, okay? So pretty much change of the circumstances. That is just one example, right? It could manifest in many, many different, uh, many, many different ways. But... The guidance here, or how you should, the, the first things that you need to do is to not to be detached or rather independent from the situation, but be involved in it. Attach yourself to it, make it so you are a, uh, you are a, an asset of the situation. You are a part of the situation. For example, you are the one who to give solace if you are following that example with a woman, you should be the one who um, gives solace to that uh, to that woman. You should be the one who listens to her. You should be the one who offers a emotional shoulder to cry on, and so on and so forth. So you do not stand like a spectator from the situation. That is very well described here with the uh, Ten of Pentacles, which in that particular case only speaks that... Um, being independent from what is going on, it's not going to make the things work out for you. And another thing of the Ten of Pentacles, it is that if you do plan to make a reconciliation, that is not the best uh, week that you can do so. This week, especially for you, Taurus, who are single, that is a week where you can establish something, an interaction, dating, or even a relationship with a person that you never had been with before, right? Uh, and uh, by the end of the week, you should, for what if those cards are to be believed, you should have that these, I'm sorry, circumstances, which are gonna be a cue for you to make a once in a lifetime change within that situation that you wish things to happen the way you wish them to happen. Okay. Whether you are currently in a relationship or whether you aren't. So that was for Taurus. Uh, moving on next, we do have uh, Gemini. Uh, first one for Gemini, King of Cups. 
followed by uh, the Two of Wands. Moving on next, what we do have that will be uh, the Four of Swords. And the final one for you, Gemini, uh, that will be the Emperor, right? So these uh, these four cards. Uh, it's pretty interesting week for Gemini. So within the week, most likely what is going to happen it is that you are going to uh, have an offer being directed to you. Now that offer could be from your spouse or just from someone else. For example, someone that has an interest in you comes about and offers you a dinner or offers you to go with them on a holiday, whatever the case. All right. So it is in uh, it is uh, an offer. And what will be the problematic aspect of your week, Gemini? It is that two of wands here sitting uh, on to the second position, which can I put it into words? Um, it's a it's a situation where probably you are going to have another commitment already, for example, scheduled, not exactly scheduled, planned that will interfere with that offer. Say you are invited on a holiday and you really want to go. But for what it seems this weekend, you have planned to do a renovation at your place or you have uh, said to a friend of yours that you are going to go out on a Saturday and going to watch movies, whatever the case. All right. So that offer your way is coming on a bit of a later date, but you can definitely make a, a, a reshuffle for what those cards are showing, all right, with that Four of Swords. What the Four of Swords speaks, it is that the interference, okay, over the offer itself that you are going to receive can be negotiated out. So the person that you already had something planned with can understand what's what you are trying to accomplish in general and what you're trying to achieve, they can put themselves into your shoes. Why? Well, because for what those cards are showing, they are a faithful companions, whether faithful uh, business companions, faithful friendship companions, whatever the case. And with uh, honest explanation from your behalf, they can, like I said, put themselves into your shoes, understand that that is something that you should probably do better than just spending your time with them. They will allow it to do so without making a fuss about it, so to uh, so to speak. And that way, you know, by the by the end of the week, uh, you should have something very well established for what those cards are showing here. And not just only that, but you are also going to present yourself very reliable in front of your person of interest, your spouse or your current girlfriend or a boyfriend. And on top of that, in front of your friends as well, because I said negotiating, that means that there will be a compensation from the other person who cuts you a slack here. Okay. But that compensation is not going to be something that you have to kind of like cut off yourself and give it to them, but it will be something that you would uh, like to be a part of as well. So it's like more of a prolonged commitment or prolonged enterprise, whatever the case here, but definitely an agreement is to be reached. And instead of facing a predicament, a conundrum throughout the week, you are actually going to have a better establishment for the weeks that are to come after the 12th of March, 2023rd. So that was Gemini. Now moving on next, we do have Cancer. All right, first one for Cancer, uh, that will be the High Priestess, followed by uh, the Eight of Swords. Moving on next, uh, that will be uh, the Hierophant. And then what we do have it is the Three of Swords. Uh, so uh, this uh, this week is going to be, I don't know how to put it into words, spiritual or, or, uh, or philosophical when it comes to your love and, uh, and romance. And that is because the week itself focuses more upon your understanding of it rather than uh, a physical aspect of, of what is going to happen. So, for example, 
this is just for example guys this week is going to focus on how or you figuring it out how you are going to determine and find say your twin flame or your soulmate or if you prefer the real love instead of actually finding it within the week itself now this will come this will um lead not come but lead to a uh, i would say certain separation or a attachment whichever way it manifests for you what i mean it is that through you understanding and finding out how you are to see that let's call it that way real love certain options available in front of you are going to drop off the plate other options available are going to become a part of the plate for you to choose from and so on and so forth but um one thing is certain okay if you end up being single by the end of this week march uh, 6 to march 12th you will have no problem with it because you will know that none of the options available around you are suitable and on top of that you will have no doubt that you are going to meet the perfect option available so what is the guidance here in order for you to do so now the first thing it is that you should not i obviously said it now but i will repeat it you should not uh, mourn because you are single and because you are alone that's the first thing first and foremost you have to learn to love yourself before you um, and respect your um, I will say it that way respect your idea of relationship rather than being agreed to anything in order to be in a relationship that's first thing the second is uh, with that eight of swords being into the second position that shows limits that you have bestowed upon yourself for one or another reason criteria could be a limit all right um social layer could be a limit as well how a limit could be the way you are to meet people i mean you may limit yourself not to use let's say dating apps or facebook or whatever the case all right you may limit yourself and may you may believe that um only meeting people conve conventional way being introduced by a common friend or just a random bump up it's the only way how things can work out that's a limit i'm not saying that that is the limit you need to bring down but there are certain limits here according to these cards that you need to bring down or you should if you do want to speed up the process okay and uh, with that three of swords being at the end here okay so the three of swords being at the end uh that card pretty much speaks that at the end you are going to see that bringing down those limits it's not as as bad as you thought that it is going to be all right things are not getting out of hand things are not getting out of control in fact most of you are going to like it okay most of you are going to see a flood of attention coming your way and you will pretty much going to enjoy that flood for as long as it lasts because eventually, you know, you're going to find someone that you will connect, connect deep, deeply with because that's what the reading is all about. You and your quest connecting deeper with someone. And that is, uh, if you are single now, should you already have someone by your side, then it is the quest to connect, to connect deeper with that person by taking down limitations, self-imposed limitations that you have built up toward or against them. So that was uh, Cancer. Moving on next, we do have uh, Leo. Right, guys uh the star is the first one followed by uh the eight of wands uh moving on next we do have the four of uh, cups then the final one for you leo that will be uh the four hmm. give me a minute here
So this reading relates the most for all of you who are having difficulties. You are going through a rough time, say a rough breakup, right? Say a rough situation in your current marriage, say um, an agony that you are going through, say you, you really love someone and they just, it's not like they're not returning your emotions, but for the time being, there is some kind of an obstacle that it is standing in between you two, all right? Having that star into uh, the very first position, which is the environment for you, Leo, a card speaks that whatever agony you are going through, whatever problem, whatever heartache, it's going to be over throughout the week. For one of you, it's going to be through one circumstances. For other, it's going to be from, from other circumstances. But the thing it is that the source of what it is ruining your good time in your love and romantic life is going to be pretty much over within the uh, within the week that it is um, that it is coming. And it's highly advisable that you do take it for what it is, okay? And although at the start you may be shocked for what is unfolding in front of you right away unfolding because there are going to be options available here and they don't necessarily have to be a brand new options available like a brand new person to 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 go out and date with or a brand new person to fall in love with they could be an option of a, options available brand new options available who are uh, relating to your current situation as well right an option available to fix your relationship an option available to establish you know whatever plans within the current relationship an option available to make that person love you again right or to resuscitate whatever love you have lost recently or you are about to losing so it's an option available here to significantly improve your current state your current situation and not just only that, uh, it's right away bringing, bringing it back on its feet. Imagine it that your situation was like a, 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 a mirror that was shattered on tiny pieces. And that week, it's you picking up those pieces and gluing them back together. However, at the end, the image that this mirror is going to produce, far better than the, the image beforehand, before it shattered. Far, far better here. Because this time around... Leo, you have the option to fix those pieces the way that suits you best. And what this is going to lead to, it's uh, unfolding love, all right, and interactions that are completely fulfilling your criteria, your ideals, and as well your standards. But you must look outside of the current framework of your expectations and of your beliefs as well. So you have to look at the situation outside of the box itself. Be uh, open for any kind of option available that it is uh, that it is coming your way. And another thing here, don't risk it, right? Don't do things that you don't know what the outcome they are going to bring, just so you can try, okay? And uh, with uh, the full being at the end, uh, that is a... It's a brand new phase that you are going to enter into, a brand new phase of dating, a brand new phase of a uh, resuscitated relationship, for example. And I'm saying brand new phase because this phase will have nothing to do with the old one. Say you have uh, broke almost with that individual, but under this week, under the energy of this week, you decided to end up back together and that continuation of relationship will have nothing to do with the past so the old sources of agony problems deterioration they're no longer going to be there so that was uh, for you leo now moving on next we do have uh, virgo Uh, first one for Virgo, that will be the Eight of Swords, followed by uh, the King of Pentacles. Moving on next, we do have uh, the King of Cups. 
And the final one for you, Virgo, uh, that will be uh, the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, so those three, those four cards, the catalyst to the King of Pentacles, it is the Five of Pentacles. And the catalyst to the King of Cups, it's the Ten of Cups. <clears throat> All right. It's a very specific situation, so I don't know if it's going to relate to you directly. I'm going to do a general reading as well, but I have to talk about that specific situation. That is a, a situation where um, you have two people. One is promising that they are going to change, okay? Only if you do not leave, only if you give them a last chance, right? Uh, that is that King of Pentacles with the Five of Pentacles. That is an individual who in their mind at that point is determined to change their ways determined to change their style the way that they are uh, interacting with you and the way that they relate to you in general and then you do have that king of cups that pretty much is stands for everything you have ever wanted and maybe that is the reason why the king of pentacles that archetype is going to decide to change their ways because they will feel threatened they will feel that they're losing a grip on you on your attention on your love if you will because the king of cups the other archetype it's simply perfect and um it's just you know a, a miles better than that one and it doesn't mean you know that you have to for example cheat on your wife or a husband or choose them for someone else the sheer reason that they will see that there is someone that suits you better because they don't know if you are going to pay attention to that person or not the sheer reason that they see that as an example will like i said make them feel threatened and make them change their way or wish to change their ways now is that going to be possible well that depends on the person you are with some will be able to others won't but at the end of the day we can see or you virgo can see that they flinch right that actually something can make them be better not just try but be better at the end of the day however um you may misinterpret those signals okay we do have the eight of swords at the start of the reading here and that is uh in my country we call it a broken phone right when an information come your way but it is so distorted that you do take it for something different or uh, or a person does a move make a makes a suggestion and you kind of like again take it for something different than what it is so it's very important that if you have a shadow of a doubt about one action or another from your spouse person of interest or the person you're dating whatever the case right or you just cannot grasp fully of what your love interest is trying to do ask for an explanation that is the only way okay how the limit which the eight of swords sets is to be uh is to be overcome is to be brought down and uh, that limit not to impair you know the positive shift that this week is promising for your uh for your love life because at the end we do have the ten of pentacles and no matter you know how these two individuals are going to interact with you right because you may be sick of always giving last chances and you may decide to try your chances with the one that it represents everything you have ever wanted right or you may decide all right i'm going to give the last chance to my current girlfriend or a boyfriend my spouse whatever the case ten of pentacles stands for either <clears throat> you will grow very independent within your current relationship so that relationship is not going to be influenced anymore by outside in uh, by by outside influence yeah so that would mean that no matter the efforts required the person who wished to change is making a positive change for the time being or it's um the ten of pentacles it is when uh, you're just very comfortable right very comfortable and uh, 
not aware but more like convinced that you did the right choice actually you are going to do the right choice one way or another here there is no wrong choice actually depending regardless of what you're going to decide to stay with uh, your current love interest or to go for the new one doesn't matter it's the right choice either way it all comes to that what you want to live with moving forward okay and finally if things doesn't work with either of them this reading have you covered as well because the ten of pentacles could signify that the person in your in your uh the an old person in your wife in your life i'm sorry is going to appear one more time that could be a person you haven't been in touch with for 10 15 20 years for example it could be for, for all i know your daycare sweet sweetheart right but it's gonna come so you're not gonna be deprived of options available for go Right, uh, next we have Libra. Uh, first one for Libra, that is going to be the Eight of Wands, followed by uh, the King of Cups. Moving on next for you guys, uh, that will be the Chariot. And the final one for you, Libra, uh, that will be the King of Pentacles. To the King of Cups, the additional card, that is the Page of Pentacles. So that is a friend. A friend... I don't know how to describe it. It's a friend that is going to become more and more involved with you. And that friend of yours may not have any romantic intentions for the time being but the things could just happen for you libra right within the next uh within the next week exactly march 6th to march 12th and that will be i don't want to say devastating but definitely is going to be an end of friendship for what we have it's into the second position and it's not just only going to hinder your friendship but also uh, it shows that not much can come out of it in the long run as well. So imagine you are working with a friend of yours on a community project and it ends up that you sleep together. So the friendship is over, you cross the bar, right? But also that situation cannot continue in the long run, not because it's a bad, but because it happened under the wrong reasons. That is what those cards are showing. So here the advice is, even though you may, that, that is if it is, right, you may be attracted to a friend of yours or a co-worker of yours, that's not the week that you should try to capitalize on this attraction for what those cards are showing. Uh, the chariot card into the third position, it kind of shows that, you know, such a move is going to be, first of all, premature. Second of all, it's going to make the things way more complicated than they should right and third of all it shows that you are going to be alone in this i mean nobody is going to approve that move of yours and of them as well now aside from that when it comes to your love life look at what uh, how the eight of wands it's represented here okay climbing the rock bottom right climbing the wrong bottom how where wands are a symbol of passion and also growth opportunities. So while they may, this, these may not be an opportunities for you to establish relationships, these are going to be an opportunities for you to open up for a love life, right? And to see that, for example, you are attractable, people, <clears throat> people are, t uh, are paying attention to you and that you do have many venues under which you can have a good time and also kind of uh, how can i put it into words boost your 
I don't want to say ego, but it's pretty close. Uh, it's pretty close to that. Now, that is of course more applicable, exclusively applicable for people who are single. Now, you guys who are in a relationship, uh, those cards are advising you to separate your relationship from your family and from your friend. What I mean here, it is that at least for the week itself, it shouldn't matter what your mother or your sibling or your father tells you for your spouse nor the families of your spouse should affect the relationship itself friends as well and that's why we do have that friend here separate your romantic experience from your social experience and that way you are going to significantly improve the circumstances under your current relationship and under your um, under your marriage or for example let's say that you know you are dating with someone and they're not sure where the thing is heading well that is a perfect week where you are making them understand that they're not your friend if they're not your friend they're more than that and uh, by the end you should basically place your bet here and uh, bet on, under a, a sense of that investing one thing for love and one thing for a social interaction for example you should show that your relationship means more than your friendships or vice versa whatever the case whatever is more important to you but you need to make a clear cut a clear line what is what in your uh, in your life so that was for libra uh, next, we do have Scorpio. Scorpio. Okay. Uh, first one for Scorpio, that will be the two of ones. Followed by uh, the Queen of Pentacles. Moving on next, that will be the Strength. <laughs> and the final one for Scorpio, that will be the King of Wands. So the, to the Queen of Pentacles, the additional card is going to be the, the Ace of Cups. Definitely a person who does love you guys. I mean, it's just so pure in a sense of that there, there is nothing behind it okay and uh i received that much into my practice the people asking me their question to taro is am i ever gonna find love right and if that's your question right now within this week you you already have it it's around you now it's a situational are you aware of it or are you not aware of it but it is there okay without a shadow of a doubt with that queen of cups queen of pentacles i'm sorry with um, the Ace of Cups, that that person definitely has not just only affinity towards you, Scorpio, but a huge potential to develop a, a, a feelings, much deeper feelings than you may think are even uh, are even possible and you're doing a good job making them do so and uh, now they are into the second position because currently the circumstances surrounding the situation in between you two are uh, saying an ideal it's a bit of an understatement i mean there is a quite a lot of things to be desired as a, a setup so that uh, interaction can truly develop and unfold its potential and primarily from the other side okay from that person that person could be living elsewhere and they cannot move at your city right they could be currently in a relationship for example they could be so busy at work already uh, uh made a commitment there that the next few months they will just not have any time whatsoever for anything else but paperwork paperwork and paperwork as well so there are circumstances which are not depending on neither them or you but here they are and they cannot be neglected they cannot be overruled all right so it's it's pretty much a, a game of waiting but for the small time you have together for example chatting calling each other or just going out for a coffee sneaking up on a, some kind of a corner or whatever the case 
you are doing a pretty good job igniting the flame i don't know how to explain it in another way and by the end of the week the flame is going to be raging right the flame is going to be raging and within that individual there won't be a shadow of a doubt that they will want to have a future with you what kind of a future that depends on how you are going to build your castle so do not well how can i put it into words don't make statements that you do not mean right that is something i can advise you as a scorpio but your uh, behavior or your attitude your performance thereon. so if you do have a question for example is it possible the person i am with to to love me even more definitely and you are doing a good job getting there right now by the way existing relationships already huge room to grow there are so much things more to be accomplished there are so much things more to be done um that are to be initiated within that week uh march 6th to march 12th 2023 all right so moving next sagittarius Uh, Ace of Swords for Sagittarius. Moving on next, we do have uh, the Queen of Swords. Followed by the Ace of Pentacles. And the last one, that will be the Nine of Cups. All right, so we do have um, the Catalyst. It's the Tower. Uh, it does look like that either someone is going to crush on you, Sagittarius, or they already have it and they want to pretty much sort your life or set up your life the way that suits them best. So it, it's like a devouring, it's like an a, a assimilation, right? You to become a simulacrum to that individual, which is obviously not a good thing. And that week is going to be a week where you will have to break it to them that that is simply not happening. Why? Well, it is because you have a better option in front of you. And that is very well described here by the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, Ace of Pentacles. And the Nine of Cups being third and fourth. So this week you can expect a situation with a person you have an interest in or a person you are with right now to start developing in a very good rate and its development to basically make you experience a life fulfillment a joyful experience and so on and so forth you are going to be very content about how things are going on with your current person of interest or with your um, your current boyfriend or girlfriend husband or a wife whatever the case and there we have that individual here queen of swords with uh, the tower card which are gonna wanna ruin that because they can and because they have an incentive for it that doesn't have to be well i said a crush but not that i think of it doesn't have to be just only a, a, um, a romantic incentive uh, it's just they want to assimilate your life because that's going to serve them a purpose whether romantic purpose or whether business purpose as well okay so up until this point you may allow that to roll you may have allowed that to pretty much stand, but not anymore. That will be the week where enough is enough and you are going to simply break it to them. Like I said, that that cannot continue any further. And as soon as you do so, as soon as you do so, things in your romantic life will become way more harmonious than uh, you may have even expected. And there is that that is not even a problem. It's more of a um, a condition here. That once that happens, right, once you make that person or banish that individual here, the Queen of Swords, out of your out, out of the life of your relationship. Not out of your life, but out of the life of your relationship. That, for example, could be, say, your parent who is constantly 
trying to give a direction where you should go or what you should do in your love life this person is not for you they should behave that and not that way and so on and so forth and that is the week where you say enough you are not the one who is within the relationship i love that individual and i will do whatever i like because it's my life it's my relationship right that could also be a way how things could uh, manifest here and once you kind of like break free like i said a lot of content and harmony is going to settle in your love life. And from there, the only thing you got to do is just not take it for granted and do your part of maintenance. That is what it is required. Because think it that way. Say you do have a person who wants, who you really, really want to be with. That is a dream of your heart, right? And this dream comes true into that week. Is that dream granted? I mean, yes, you may end up together, but for how long? Well, if you don't put your efforts into maintaining that relationship, it's not going to be for long. Okay? So maintenance, it is required uh, after that moving forward. So you can transform that, that short-term happiness into a long-lasting one. All right, so that was uh, Sagittarius. Next, we do have Capricorn. Eight of Pentacles for Capricorn. Uh, then is uh, the Queen of Wands. Followed by the Death card. And the final one, that will be the Two of Swords. So maybe this is going to be a start of a volatile week. Let me take a sip here. Mm. The accompanied to the Queen of Wands, that will be the Ten of Pentacles. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. So that may be the start of a volatile week. It's volatile because there will be a, a transformation. I don't know how to, how to put it in another way. Basically, aspects of your uh, intimate life or your current relationship are going to be abandoned is because they do no, no, no longer make any sense. They no longer serve any purpose whatsoever. Those aspects could be, say, a travel you had scheduled or a plan you have, you know, or just an affinity or it could be just a habit. You know, uh, say you are smoking and you do understand that if you do want to have children, going for smoking doesn't help it at all so you may decide to quit smoking you know these kind of things which are a part of your life but if you do want improvement they cannot stay there right so that will be from both sides if you are finding yourself in relationship and it's not going to be that difficult to make it because this week is going to be a week of conscientiousness anything you want to do Anything your spouse, person of interest, your boyfriend or a girlfriend wants to do, that it will be supported with conscientiousness and thus the speech, the, 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 the actions, the promises are going to be worked out to their finest detail. Now, the issue that we may have here, it's a very... Um, can't say appealing individual that is a person who knows how to manipulate you guys all right so that's a person who knows how to manipulate you out it's a person who is not uh, connected directly to your relationship all right so they don't mind they don't care uh, if you are in a uh, if you are in a romantic involvement with the uh, interest of yours or you are married or not it is just right now you are a part of their um, of their success okay and they just want your time being more devoted to their success than to your love life so that may be an issue but it's easily overcoming uh, overcomable for what those cards are showing if you decide that this interaction or the, the the state of the interaction you do have with that individual queen of wands here with the ten of pentacles 
it's one of those things in flux okay and the conditions under which you interact needs to change okay so certain boundaries you know needs to be uh needs to be established but under the move the conscientious move that you are going to have whether you are single and you will decide that you know now it's the time that i need to stop being single right i need to stop being a hermit and display to the world that i'm ready to um invite love in my life again or it is just a plan that you are going to develop with your current uh person of interest or spouse by the end of the week, you will be quite convinced that things are going to work out for you and that is going to bring a solid peace in your uh, in your love life under the energy of the Two of Swords. That card is a fantastic for all of you who are single guys because it says that the perfect or the, the right option available, the right love option available for you is going to pretty much become obvious with time. So here, if you don't go against what is obvious it's unlikely that you will involve yourself with the wrong person right next uh we do have aquarius uh first one for aquarius uh, that will be temperance followed by uh the nine of cups moving on next we do have the knight of swords and the final one for aquarius uh that will be the three of wands right To the Knight of Swords, the additional card is Two of Swords, uh, Two of Wands, sorry. So that is an individual who is really trying, okay? They are really, really trying. Uh, that may be, you know, uh, a person that you are currently with or someone that you do have interest in or someone that has interest in you, but you don't know yet, okay? So that is a person who is really, really trying, but they are not, they're not ready, not ready, but how can I put it into words? Yeah, they're not ready on anything or on everything, so to speak. There is a, a very fine line in between their emotions and uh, their thoughts. What I mean is that they're never going to do something they do not believe into or they do not like. But they are trying to the best of their abilities to use that line they have of action in order to make things right and in order to improve things in between you two. Especially if you are not paying attention to them. I mean, they're really trying through things they believe into and they like to do to catch your attention. So, uh, I don't know if that's a breaking up to you guys or not, but having that nine of cups um, into the second position, this week it's not about our pleasure especially if uh, you are already in a relationship or you do have an interaction, romantic interactions. It's not about our pleasure here. It's not about what, is, what suits us. It's not about um, what we feel joy from or you are feeling fulfilled from or we are feeling um, satisfied, right? Because... Having a relationship, uh, that is from the philosophy of the cards, right? Having a relationship, um, dating someone or being in a, being married, it's about patterns. It's about establishing a pattern and that pattern needs to work for all of us, for both of us, 
for us and our children if you do have children if we do have children if you do have children so that will be the week for you Aquarius where you and that individual if you do decide to connect with them of course you may not have the chance though because that may be your wife or a husband as well is to find a way that that pattern to serve both of you but it will take a mutual compromises so that is a week of compromises right uh, that is not something i personally believe in too because i believe that you should do only things that makes you feel good and makes you feel happy but at the end of the day you know if you do want to be in a relationship uh, you have to make your partner happy as well i mean that is a pretty no-brainer here so basically this week it's all about striving for compassion solidarity and making things work for both of you through compromises but not that big of a compromises that it will feel like a sacrifice a common ground can be accomplished and can be achieved and what will be the result of, of those patterns it is that once you do started that relationship back in the days or very uh, recently depending on uh, when that happened or this interaction whatever the case you had certain expectations of it well now those expectations are starting to manifest and they're starting to become accomplishable for a lack of better words and even more than that those expectations are gonna look like a piece of cake and from these patterns a new bigger bolder more challenging and challenging in a good way that means that you're improving expectations are going to form so that is literally you growing big time not just only growing but conquering a new shores of conquest for your love life moving forward and uh, last but not least for that week uh, we do have Pisces. Uh, first one for Pisces, Ace of Swords followed by uh, the Ten of Swords. Moving on next, we do have the Magician. And the final one, that will be the uh, Seven of Cups. It's a guidance reading, guys. And uh, first and foremost, you should not take drastic measures throughout the week. Like, for example, if you have decided to leave, okay, uh, that's it's a week where you should give it one last good talk about it. Okay, one last good talk about it. Uh, the, I don't know how to put it into words, uh, but basically this is a week where you will uh, have a full grasp over what your love situation truly is. For example, that will be the week where it will be divulged to you who likes you, how much they like you, who loves you, how long they are loving you for, all right, or from. Um, is your current partner cheating on you or not? And if you thought they are cheating you and you accuse them and they aren't, okay, that will also going to be revealed. Basically, everything is going to be revealed. And under those new circumstances, a one last conversation um, in between potential love interests or in between uh, a husband and a wife, all right, uh, in between spouses, in between boyfriend and a girlfriend needs to be taken. So if you do decide at the end of the day that you are to leave each other, that is going to be because you are incompatible, right? You are who you are and it is just there is no room for, for compatibility in between you two. Therefore, things cannot work out. Or if you do decide um, that you are going to be together, because that may be a vice versa situation where you, you like each other very much and you want to be together, right? But you don't know each other uh, that much. So that will be the week where uh, one last conversation needs to be... Uh, 
led, so to speak, where everything needs to be revealed, the whole truth, whether for your past, whether for your ho ho hobbies, I'm sorry, whether for your habits, um, whether for your pros and cons, for everything, so you can present each other in front of uh, each other uh, for who you are, and therefore an accurate assessment, uh, assessment, I'm sorry, can be placed. Can you live together because you are who you are and not because you are thinking that that person could change in the future? It's, it's not going to change according to these cards, that is, okay? So, because, you know, in my practice, I have a fair share of those situations where people start in a relationship in the hope that they're going to change the other person. And in that particular case, that's not happening, okay? So if you do decide to be with someone throughout the week, make sure that that is because you love the person for who they are and you do not want a shred of their character to change. And if you do want to leave someone throughout that week, that is going to be because you do not like their character and uh, you do not love them for who, for who they are. Uh, and so with that said, guys, uh, that will be uh, your lovely week, uh, March 6th to March 12th, 2023. Hopefully you do enjoy it and you do like it and uh, we may see each other around. Until then, bye.